have the Angry Bunny Man rocking uh, Jumpluff, Shadow Alolan Marowak, Galarian Weezing with that big tall um, hat slash smokestack. We got Dugon, Primeape, and uh, Speedy's Chief's favorite Pokemon, Fortress. Yes, and we have E110 with uh, Pidgeot. Is that is that Pidgeot again? I thought we were only allowed to have... Oh, we, uh, uh, okay, one so... per per team. So the other team had Pidgeot. Mm -hmm. So this team mm -hmm. makes Pidgeot sense as well. And we have we have Lantern. We have Shadow Machamp. Uh, beautiful pick. We have Trevenant. We got the Shadow A9, and we've got the Registeel. Very yeah. nice. I will say that uh, E110's team looks a lot like something you could actually see in um, a previous patch of the uh, play. Pokemon regionals. I will say you don't see Trevenant mm -hmm. so often anymore, um, but back before the Seed Bomb nerf, this team looks pretty formidable, I will say. Um, is there anything you see standing out on Angry Bunny Man's side? Um, well, the Shadow AWAC is is kind of amazing spice. Um, I'm a huge fan of the uh, Galarian Weezing. I feel like Galarian Weezing is actually quite IV dependent, you, you do want a bulky Galarian Weezing, and I have a tr I have trouble getting a bulky Galarian Weezing. Um, yeah, it's other not than that, super common to get anymore, I don't think, right? Uh, um, it's not, and you, you have to trade for that, uh, for the bulky one. It is very difficult. Um, honestly, very spicy team, besides the, uh, besides the prime, the, the primate, uh, and the, and the, the, uh, Dugong. Yeah, uh, everything else is that new uh, drill run. Uh, so actually, a matchup that we have seen plenty of times is Dugon versus Registeel that we now know Dugon can now threaten, uh, which before would never have been a thing. So perhaps we'll see Dugon trying to avoid the Machamp and the uh, the Lantern to try and get some drill run damage on the Reggie, some Ice Shards and Icy Winds on the Pidgeot, and maybe even Trevenant comes out to play for the first time in like a year, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trevenant's definitely, I think it's getting a comeback here, especially versus this team. It's mm -hmm. very... Uh, three times, four times a week to Trevenant here. Yeah, I, think I would like to see some Trevenant, but I'm ready to hand it on over to the casters to see if that Galerian Weezing can put in some work against that Trevenant. Oh my gosh, and we are getting right into it with an icy Pokemon face-off here. Dugong from the Angry Bunny Man onto this Powder Snow Shadow Alolan Ninetales. Oh, that Primeape is in, and so is the Alolan Marowak Shadow, and it's oh shiny too! Gosh. Angry Bunny Man going hard for those. Gets yeah, the but I mean, this Shadow... Hmm? Yeah, this Shadow Marowak, though, does not want to see this Lantern swap in from Aeon... Aeon? E E110. <laughs> E110, got it. E <laughs> I'm just trying to say the whole word. Right. And these Serfs are now coming off hot onto this Marowak, and it does throw up a Protect Shield, hoping to get to that Shadow Bone. I like the play to throw the Shadow Bone here, because it does have a probable debuff. It's not high, but... It mm -hmm. is there, it's the nuke damage. We've seen the, shown the bone club. Now comes the fir another surf. Now the question yeah. is who goes first, the bone club or the surf? But this surf gonna take this Marowak down to the red. Yeah. Yeah, E110 definitely. Oh my gosh, it just, the Marowak barely survived there by one mm -hmm. HP, but then one spark was able to do it before he could use any of that energy stored up. And I like this play from E110, really understanding that keeping alignment is going to be key for this matchup. I was about to say, bring out your Primeape. Let's see what its moveset is. And <gasps> Ish Primeape is rocking close combat. We're either rocking the Cross Chop or I got watch it. If they don't seal this close no. combat, Pidgeot's going away. Oh my oh! gosh. Oh, but we do see that the, the Prime Ape swaps out, preserving a ton of energy. And now the Icy Wind debuff going to land on this Pidgeot, but no, shielded from E110. Nine Tails is coming in with the Dazzling Gleam. That's kind of oh why you gosh. get that Powder Snow on it. But it ain't going to do a thing on Tanky Dugong. 
And oh Kaz, my gosh. was the I mean, made shiny too? Is this an all shiny lineup it, by Amy it, Honeyman? It might very well be. It was a shiny primate. This drill run going to land for a lot of neutral damage onto this Ninetales, but this Ninetales is going to be able to get to another Dazzling Gleam and throwing now the bait of Weather Ball trying to get to preserve some energy on this Ninetales instead of going down Oh, and another Weather Ball has to come out in order to get the Dugong out of the way. Kaz, Ninetales was trying to take it out and maybe do a little farm down, but it was not damaging enough. And Primeape is now primed to switch up and get oh, the extra. No. And Primeape's coming and with the close oh combat! This is going to be a massive amount of damage. Primeape is hugely attack my weighted, my. and it is enough to knock out the Pidgeot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, so much damage. Goodness gracious. I have arguments and arguments with Primeape users all the time. What is the second move to use? Ice Punch against the Fighters, Close Combat against the Flyers, or um, Cross Chop. And Close I Combat is just, no yeah. one shields, and it just feels no. so good to knock a pit, full health green Pidgeot or a Noctowl oh out of the sky. Yeah, I mean, I think that the close combat is a really smart call for against E110 lineup. Mm -hmm. um, but now we see an interesting matchup as pointed out by our analyst. Dugong has access to Drill Run to actually threaten the Registeel, but both do end up swapping out. And now this Alola Marowak stuck in another matchup with very little to threaten this Pidgeot. I I like, the, I understand the E110 call for Pidgeot here because of that mm -hmm. normal typing. But Pidgeot is not Noctowl. I'm going to repeat that one more time. Pidgeot is not Noctowl. Those fire spins will add up. So this damage yeah. is really coming down. But he gets the, def the attack drop from the Feather Dance. Mm -hmm. And we'll see if he's going to shield this next Shadow Bone. He's not, which means it's going to give at least no. two or three more fire spins to this Marowak. Yeah, but still, this is a nice place for Pidgeot to be to soak up this, mm -hmm. like, not even neutral damage, totally resisted damage. I mean, the fire spins do stack up, like you said, but in the meantime, it's gonna be able to debuff this Marowak and all the way farm down with just wing attack. And now almost maybe can get to another feather dance to debuff this Dugong. E110 is shining with this Pidgeot right now, wow. Mm -hmm. This is well done. Another debuff on the attack. Pidgeot then just doing what it needs to do. Give the Dugong I mean, farm. And look, you got two healthy yeah. Pokemon that neither want to see Drill Run. And Dugong's already debuffed. Yeah, I mean, the debuff means that Registeel does not have to shield this Drill Run. I mean, it's going to do just a little, little bit of, of damage there. Um, now we have this Lantern come in to face off against this Primate. And this, Lantern able to get to the Surf first. This was a good play. Getting that Surf off first and getting this shield is a mm -hmm. good call. The question is, what is Angry Bunny Man to do? And this is why the argument comes with close combat. Because if your opponent mm -hmm. knows your big move is debuffing yourself, they're going to yeah. shield. And I like how Angry Bunny Man is. Has to bait. Gets the uh, mm -hmm. Night Slash and procs. And oh, no. does get the attack boost. And so now even this next Night Slash is going to do a ton of damage to this lantern if it goes unshielded which i mean the lantern has one more shield do you try and preserve the alignment here no e110 going to let this lantern go oh, another prime get out of here prime oh, on fire right now gosh but registeel <laughs> does have the energy and angry bunny man has <laughs> has no shields left to protect itself and to preserve all of that energy. So now Registeel in the matchup that it originally wanted to be against this Dugong. I mean, this drill run is not debuffed anymore, so it will do quite a bit of damage. E110 still has a shield and it does throw up that shield. Perfect, perfect play here by E110. Not taking any chances, gonna just give the shield gonna go for the focus blast mm -hmm. this is beautiful play here to secure the w and get himself the point again a double proc 
on that knock to oh on my that primate. Gosh. But you're <laughs> able to take it out, but not even a counter got through. If one counter would have gotten through, that drill run would have been even more detrimental. But E110 yeah. on top of it, the feather dances from that Pidgeot, <laughs> great play all together by these battlers. Exactly. It's down to the wire. This is intense battling here. A I'm really, really it. great, yeah, a really great adjustment there in the lineup from E110. And Keaton, again, knowing that that alignment was going to be key. And now we see the exact opposite. E110 leading with the Registeel against Angry Bunny Man's Primate. Angry Bunny Man, shiny Primate, shiny Dugon, shiny Marowak. I don't think Galarian Weezing has a shiny. Angry Bunny Man might have it though, as this surf is gonna <laughs> come through without getting shielded. Primate can take one of those, but it's not the, like we said earlier, it's attack weighted, not defense And we weighted. see this Primate going straight for that close combat and E110 does not give up the shield and this does so much damage to that lantern. I like this play too, forcing them to throw the ton of energy for Thunderbolt. You know what's coming on Dugong. And Dugong again, a tanky Pokemon, can live this Thunderbolt. Yeah, exactly. Can live one Thunderbolt and able to overfarm quite a bit of energy against what I suspect is going to be the Registeel coming in. Now going to be met with an Icy Wind instead of the Drill Run. Round of applause to E110 for calling that bait right there and not shielding mm -hmm. the Icy Wind. That might play huge with two shields in the back. Gonna do it again, but this time still in the green. So can yeah. take it and does all the energy off of Dugon now, and it's in the red. Even if it doesn't mm -hmm. want to see the Focus Splash and shield it, those lock-ons will still add up. Yeah, and this Dugong, so low on health, does not give up a shield, going to go into the final Pokemon of the Galarian Weezing, which I do believe has the shiny released in game. So we'll have to see if Angry Bunny Man continues his shiny usage. But the Primate comes in an attempt to farm, quickly met with the Pidgeot from E110. And then the Galarian Weezing comes out, and no, unfortunately, this one is not shiny. Well, you failed me, Angry Bunny Man, on the shiny version. But let me tell you something. It has overheat. Uh, Galarian Weezing has an amazing moveset. Brutal Swing, Sludge mm -hmm. Bomb, Dazzling Gleam, and Overheat as well. And once they gave it Fairy Wind, it really unlocked it to be used by players who love this kind of style. And look at that. Yeah. He gets the first shield there with the Brutal Swing, even though he's built up to the Overheat. Can he get the second one? No. And E110 okay. is on fire yeah. again calling these plays. Exactly. I mean, Overheat does debuff the user's attack significantly. So E110 shielded the first one just in case, right? But then knew that that debuff was going to be so detrimental that Angry Bunny Man didn't want to risk it. So now able to debuff this Galarian Weezing anyway. And mm -hmm. the second, uh, the actually third Brutal Swing is not going to do nearly enough damage. Oof an attempt to catch on the Primeape and clear the debuffs on this Galarian Weezing, but I think this Pidgeot is primed to sweep. This Pidgeot just needs to throw debuffs after debuffs after debuffs. There's nothing else this Pidgeot needs to do. And it catches oh, the Brutal and catch Swing on the Registeel. Oh my gosh, this is, e this is not going to do nearly enough. Yeah. Goodness gracious. E and the lock on down just adds to it. Oh, the Brutal Swing does come out one more time from the Galarian Weezing. But I still think that Registeel might survive. Oh, goodness gracious. That oh. Pokemon has way too much HP. <laughs> Registeel still survives. Oh, Registeel still. Always. Still Ugh. survival. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was a great he matchup, too. That was an incredible matchup. Again, really smart adjustments from E110 and secures yet another point for mm -hmm. the BT Dub Trace teams. And I really can't wait to hear what our analysts at the desk have to say. Yeah, these were some.